Colchester appeared on national television to outline the government's response plan for coronavirus. As the government's representative, she said, people going through airports should buy gloves, buy masks, and try not to touch anything. Is this the message the government is sending to Canadians? If the minister can't tell Canadians her plan, can she at least stop the Liberal backbench from spreading fear and panic? Good question. The Honourable Minister of Health. Well, thank you very much. I'd like to first of all thank the member from Calgary, Nose Hill, for her exceptionally eloquent uh, reminder to all of us that there is very real risk in terms of spreading misinformation and fear. We are working diligently to make sure that all members of the House have accurate information, including members on our side and members of the public, as well as our health care allied professionals. We'll continue to do that and correct the misinformation as it, as it arises. Thank you, member. What's the plan? Canadians need more information. Once Canadians in China safely return to Canada, what is the protocol in place to protect Canadians at home? Will returners be mandated to remain in quarantine? If yes, for how long? The government has indicated that there will be an enhanced screening process. What does this screening process look like? And when will the government contact all of those who are on impacted flights for the confirmed cases already? Canadians need reassurance. Canadians need answers today. What's the plan? The Honourable Minister of Health. Madam Speaker, and in talking about dis, uh, misinformation, it's difficult uh, to contain spread of misinformation if we're conflating two separate issues. Uh, the member opposite has asked about the number of contacts that were uh, beside the, the patient in Toronto who has since recovered. Uh, all of those people sitting within two meters have been contacted and confirmed as not having the coronavirus. So that piece is complete. In terms of returning uh, people from China, I will note that China will not allow people who are ill to travel and we'll have a very comprehensive screening process in partnership with Canadian uh, health care professionals that will be on the ground. We'll continue to update as we know.